Welcome to Digital Electronics Experiment Lecture Series. Today, I'll be going to show you multiplexer and demultiplexer using multi-gym software. First of all, we see a multiplexer. For multiplexer, go to Miss Digital, then select TTL. And here, we get MUX 2 to 1. Now, to apply the frequency at input side, we need a function generator. So here, we get a function generator. To copy the component, first select the component and then press Ctrl plus C and Ctrl plus V. Now here, we connect function generator's positive terminal with input of multiplexer and function generator's common terminal with ground. For ground, go to source, then select power source and here we get ground. To observe the output, we need a oscilloscope. So here we get four channel oscilloscope. So here we connect oscilloscope A channel at input D0, D channel at input D1 and C channel at input A and last D channel at output Y. Now we apply 1000 Hz frequency in square wave form at input A. Then 500 Hz frequency in square wave form at input D1. And last 250 Hz frequency in square wave form at input D0. So now our all the setup of multiplexer is completed. So let's simulate the circuit. For simulation, click on run and double click on oscilloscope. Here we need to set this all waveform in oscilloscope screen so we get clear idea about the output. So here we can say that the first waveform is input D0, the second waveform is input D1 and the third waveform is input A and the last fourth waveform is output Y. When A equal to 0 at a time, we get Y equal to input D0 and when a equal to 1 at a time we get y equal to input d1 let us say d multiplexer for d multiplexer we take a new seat for new seat click on new and click on create now go to ttl and select 74 ls and here we get 74 ls 139d ic used for 2 to 4 d multiplexer now to apply the frequency at input side we need a function generator so here we get function generator to copy the component, first select the component and then press Ctrl plus C and Ctrl plus B. Now here we connect function generator's positive terminal at input side of the multiplexer and common terminal with ground. For ground, go to source, then go to power source and here we get ground. 
to observe the output, we need an oscilloscope. So here, we get four channel oscilloscope. Now, we connect first oscilloscope A channel at input A and B channel at input B. Then we connect second oscilloscope A channel at output Y0, B channel at output Y1, C channel at output Y2 and D channel at output Y3. Now we apply 1000 Hz frequency in square waveform at input A. Then 500 Hz frequency in square waveform at input B. Now the all the setup of D multiplexer is completed. So let's simulate the circuit. For simulation, click on run and double click on oscilloscope. Now here we need to set this all waveform in oscilloscope screen. So we get clear idea about the output. So here we can see that the first waveform is input A. The second waveform is input B. In second oscilloscope screen, the first waveform is output Y0. The second waveform is output Y1. The third waveform is output Y2. And the fourth waveform is output Y3. When A equal to 0 and B equal to 0 at a time, Y0 equal to 0 and the rest of other are equal to 1. When A equal to 1 and B equal to 0 at a time, y1 equal to 0 and rest of other are equal to 1. When a equal to 0 and b equal to 1 at a time, y2 equal to 0 and rest of other are equal to 1. When a equal to 1 and b equal to 1 at a time, y3 equal to 0 and rest of other are equal to 1. So I hope you get clarification about 2 cross 1 multiplexer and to cross for D multiplexer. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any query regarding this video, then write on comment box. I'll be definitely try to solve your queries.